gentlemen, welcome back to City Skyline gameplay number two of Lover City. So, as I am recording these in advance, this city has still not been named yet, and it won't be named until a few videos later, until I get some more comments and some more people participating down below this video. So, today I think we're just going to work on expanding a little bit more, making some more money, dealing with this hole over here we created yesterday, and of course, just enjoying the beautiful flow of traffic we have with our stop sign and stoplight free city. So to start with, let's go ahead and add in a couple more a couple more districts. I like what we have down here with the squares. Maybe we'll expand down and we'll make a couple like that. Now, is that gonna add stop signs? It is not. Perfect, so I think we're gonna keep up this cube design here. It seems to be working pretty well. And we'll add a bunch of housing down here. So, ah, uh, yep. Too much money we are going broke that's okay let's get our houses in and yeah i'm aware i need water i remember this time hopefully we can afford it and like that Ooh, not quite enough that's okay though we are bringing the bank in right now let's check out this traffic flow okay right here seems to be a pretty big problem spot but even though it's red right here it really is flowing quite smoothly and also, I have some good news about my personal life for those of you who are interested. I've been struggling to find a job this year for the summer for my environmental engineering co-op position. And I just got contacted by a uh, plastic injection molding company for a possible EHS position. EHS is where you work with environmental health and safety laws, keeping sure the factory or machine floor is uh, up to all standards and no one gets injured. It's not what I want to do for uh, full time in the future, but it would be an incredible experience and I'm very excited to start. <clears throat> well, hopefully I'll start. I, I really don't know where we stand at this moment. We'll make this a shopping area. Maybe we can make this shopping too. That might be kind of nice. Um, yeah, let's do that. No, I like the housing. This will give us a little bit of shopping over here. That way people get to celebrate, uh, celebrate being rich, you know? And our traffic flow is just so good right now. Without a good traffic flow, this is something I've learned in real life. Like you'll see an ambulance outside where I live and uh, the traffic gets super congested. Oh no, what, what's going on here? Are those, what is that? What, what is that semi doing? Get off, you're tr holding up traffic. Anyway, here in real life, semi trucks outside will stop at a stoplight and they won't be able to move because the stoplight's red. Well, an ambulance needs to get through. The semi doesn't want to go because it's a red light and he's afraid he'll get in trouble. And you'll see an ambulance sit at the stoplight intersection outside for like three minutes or maybe two minutes till the light changes. And like someone could die in that time. It looks like we're starting to get slight traffic issues. So I think maybe we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Go ahead and upgrade. Let's, what is it, this? Uh-huh. I guess we can't upgrade there. Um, this part of the road, I think, needs to, uh, needs to be beefed up a smidge. I don't know how much that'll help. Let's do right here and right there. And does that add just a yield sign? Oh no, we've added a stoplight. Well, I guess we already failed that challenge, but um, I was kind of expecting it to happen. Sewage. Oh. Uh-oh. Let's go over here, increase our water budget a little bit. Maybe our garbage some. And let's go to taxes. I found that 11% is the number where people will still pay without being super upset. So let's see if that holds true for right now. Okay. And our electric seems to be a little low. Maybe this is the time to add in a windmill like right here near the ghetto or over here. Let's do over here. That way it's not near our residential areas, even though they are ghetto. We don't want that. They have a nice area in here. This could be a soccer field or something really cool to hang out at and play. So I really like that a lot. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's have a look over here. How are we doing? We're doing all right, that's for sure. A couple places out of business. And yeah, okay, cool. So our traffic flow is a little iffy. This intersection kind of got all messed up with that upgrade. Maybe I'll upgrade it one more time right here. And not there. We'll just we'll see what that does for now. We'll see if that helps any. I really don't like the uh, I don't like the stoplight we have. But yeah, so I'm thinking 
for every person who comments, we'll go ahead and just click a random person, and we'll name them after you. And then we'll try to see how long they last, and if we can find them throughout this Let's Play series. If it keeps going and gets a little bit bigger than one to two viewers each, then uh, I think I think we'll have something pretty cool here. So let's make up here a big old thick one way all the way over to right here and down okay how about that i lined it up nice and i need to st okay so we need to get these trucks to stop going around this loop so when they come in instead of having them turn left we've got to get them or instead of turning right we've got to get them to turn left so if you guys have so if anyone here has any ideas on how to fix this issue, go ahead and let me know. I'm really unsure of how to manage it right now, but that's okay. That's okay. So we have a good looking highway system up here. And this is where we are going to add a new residential area. And maybe we go with the, uh, the weird looking thing we did earlier. Something like that. Those are one ways. And maybe make another in here. Mm, something like that. It's alright. And in the middle, we'll make it another, maybe a park area or something of that nature. And then let's make some connecting roads from there to there. And, okay, we'll just see. That's, this is kind of an odd design. We'll see exactly what, uh, what this creates. It's kind of dark, so I can't really tell right now. But that's going to be a bit of housing, that's for sure. Maybe a bit too much housing, because we'll have unemployed people. And how are my people doing? Are my people happy? Well, I sure wouldn't be happy if I lived on this street. It was so tiny when we first started, and now it's just a booming metropolis. And look at all these abandoned buildings. How is this happening? I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But that's okay. They will surely rebuild, and our new, our new people will get to work, and take care of that so let's see can I make a parked path yet yes I can and I think what I'm going to do that's sidewalk so I think we're gonna try to make like maybe some more connections so like people who live here I want them to be able to walk over here that way we can reduce traffic so let's like just kind of bring one straight across like that and then we'll do a little landscaping, add a couple trees here and there, make it a more enjoyable trip to work. Of course, they are walking by the, uh, the garbage, but that's okay. Hopefully, some people will take this path. A couple bushes right here, say welcome, 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 and some rocks. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. We have some rock formations for your walking pleasure. And a flood wall, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a was a part of this. Okay, so let's see if people start taking this path. There we go, we got our first person. How do you like it, sir? You work at Goods Unlimited. That's what that person with the Lamborghini works. Awesome. Okay, so our traffic isn't doing awful. It's also not doing great. And we need some more electricity over here. So... I think we're just going to have to increase the budget. That's probably the most cost-effective way to deal with this. And hopefully we're still in the green. Yeah, we're making quite a bit of profit, actually, right now. And we're going to have to make a second one of these. Let's see. See, the way I've designed these roads makes it kind of difficult. All the one-way streets. Mm -hmm. See, down here covers a fair amount. Let's do that. And... Let's give them a hospital. So that's good, that's good. These people will have at least a little bit more access to some of the modern luxuries that they deserve. And hopefully soon we'll get the skyscrapers unlocked because our city is really going to be growing quite quickly. Okay, back to work. And, wow, yeah. This is becoming a problem. I thought it was a beautiful design when we first started. I'm sure many of you realized it was not. Sewage is water, I believe. Hopefully that's the correct control. You guys are piped, right? Yeah, okay. And it might be beneficial to really 
Hey, Boomtown, what do we get? Bigger area, transport, bus. Ooh, the bus, that could be big. That could be big. Bus depot, wind turbine, and cemetery. All right, so I have lost the game before because I didn't build a cemetery on time. So we're just gonna build a cemetery real quick. And that way our people are a little bit, a little bit happier. Our rich folks should get the cemetery. Poor people might need it because they're gonna die more, but who am I kidding? Maybe we'll do it this way. If you sub and drop a name, you can be in rich district, but if you don't sub, you're living in Rusty Pike. Like you might, you might make it, you probably won't. Who knows at this point. Let's add a high school up in here. Right here. And that covers almost the entire area. Or what if what if we did down? Oh, look at that. Now that covers a lot of area. So our people have a school, even though it's a very, very long walk. It's better than nothing, I guess. We gotta make it more ghetto too. What, like maybe with trees or something? Some ghetto trees, what we got here? This thing looks pretty ghetto. Boom. That'll be their that'll be their park area. Just the ghetto park. Let's do a little let's do a little nothing there, because uh, there's already something there. We have good flow right here. Just kinda making the circle around. But I really, really want to get rid of this stoplight. Hmm. Cause that would make it just be a nice quick ring. But this thing kinda messes it up. But without this, people will have to leave the city to come back in. Unless maybe I took this off, connected it up here. Maybe, maybe we try that. Let's try that. Let's see what we get. This could be awful. And of course, I'll have to fix our telephone wires here. And right there, and right there. And then let's tear down this. And that hopefully gets rid of our stop light. It doesn't. It doesn't. But, well, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We have that. Then we're going to add a one-way right here. A thinner one-way, like a little baby one-way. And let's make it curve. This is good, guys. This is good. Just wait. Just wait. A little bridge. Like that. And, and, space already occupied. We gotta get this to merge in somehow. So we'll take it in this way. And, there it was. There it was. Like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see what damage that causes. Or maybe it's beneficial. Uh oh. Our high school's on fire? Oh, our medical place is on fire. Sorry, traffic. That's going to be an issue. Wow, we are growing very quick. Need more water. Got to keep increasing that budget. Maybe I'll just need another water plant here soon. Cause, uh, and electric. Wow. Water, electric. Get up there. What? Oh, wait. We don't have power over here. Why don't we have power? Why aren't you powered? Let's just increase electric a little bit more during the day. Let's make a windmill. That'll take care of it. Okay. All taken care of. People are happy. Losing a lot of money right now. There we go. We're back in the green. And a lot of places are catching on fire. So I think before we expand, we'll have to do a little bit of tuning up. Make sure we have all our utilities covered. Um, let's get a fireplace right up here on this side. That'll help cover some things. Happy people everywhere. And we have this downed building right here. Oh, sorry, I took out your neighbors. My apologies. And it seems as though a lot of the semi-trucks are still using this path. Okay, so what we have is they're going to come in. They're going to go all the way around to get up here. And then to leave, they come up this way and then down here. So this area is still getting hit pretty hard. Maybe if we made an easier exit, like one that would skip the whole city and just leave. If I perhaps took this road and wrapped it around instead of having it go through the residential area, that might be the best option. Another one way. One ways are everything. And let's pause it. Let's pause it and let's do this real quick. Okay. 
So, I'm going to tear all this off. Get rid of all that, whatever this crap is right here. And so they're leaving this way. So, they get over this way. But then if they want back in the city, that's what I need to do. Right? Because we want them to get back in. And we could do the small connection, maybe just like from here to something like that. Maybe even a smaller little, little baby connection. Does that add traffic lights though? And it does, see? We don't want that. That's going to be really congested. Got to think this through. This is tough. So maybe from down here. Okay. So from down here, we're going to take it. But then people can't get down here again. Because once they're up here, it's one way. Why did I design it this way? Oh, man. People can all get up here, right? One way up, you can only turn right. So everyone can get to this point. So we have to start from this point. And we'll start with something thinner. That way we can get out. And then... Maybe we just... Let me go up a little bit more. And then we branch into a bigger piece. And... Boom. Sorry, people. That looks a little better, at least. So this way, people have a way to get back into our city. A nice, thick road. And we're going to have to expand maybe this one. Make it a little better. With some upgrading. Boom, 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 boom. They're city streets. They gotta be a little bigger, right? And these. Just because they're such, such hot, heavily used streets. So it does get a little thinner here, but I think that's going to help the traffic flow a lot. Yeah, look at that. That is just gorgeous. Mm. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's take a peek at our traffic flowing. Not too bad, not too bad. That is really cool. I like how that looks right there. Screenshot? Screenshot. This will be our uh, this will be our new cover photo for this video. Boom. So I think we're making pretty good progress today. And um what else do we need to do? I'd like to get the new district soon. Looks like we're getting there. We need a few more industrial areas, but like I said. Oops. Let's make sure. What is this? Our hospital. Yeah, so we don't have very good hospital. So people might be getting sick and dying all over the place, and we don't want that. Over here is not good. Down here is decent. Maybe. Right there, right there. Just got to test everywhere and see what we get. Something like that. That'll make these people a little bit safer, and I'm sure the ambulances will come pouring out. But that's okay. So I'm actually taking some classes right now where I uh, take a excuse me where I take a trip to Beijing this summer for two weeks to study their new mega city. It's called a megalopolis, and it's combining Beijing with two other two other cities called like Jinji Ji or something. I I don't speak Chinese, but it's a huge, huge, huge deal. And um, so we're studying traffic flow and planning and all kinds of stuff like that. And even though I'm more interested in the pollution and the environmental side of it. Um, a lot of kids in my class are planning majors, so they deal with this kind of stuff all the time. Which is, would you realize after playing this game how incredibly difficult it is? So, it's pretty cool. I think this would be a great, great tool for maybe like younger kids trying to figure out what they want to do. I mean, yeah, planning a city isn't quite like this game, but close enough, right? Can we upgrade that bridge? Yeah, we can. That looks good. I think once they get across the bridge, they can slow down as they fan out throughout the warehouses and industries over there. And what is going on over here? Are, why are they only using one lane, guys? Look how many lanes there are. What are you doing? Maybe I should get that traffic mod to fix traffic, because that, that is not good at all. And what are we looking like over here? Just this section, which is... I don't know, that's that's something I can deal with. Plus we got like a bunch of cop cruisers here going hard. Getting their work done and... Do you not have water, my friend? Oh, look at all that money I had to waste just for you. I'll increase your taxes for that. And still no electric, so I gotta get a coal plant, maybe a water turbine, I don't know. Let's just get one. Is that a waste of money? 
It very well could be. But cool. I'm sure it'll, it'll provide a little more energy to our grid. It is just flowing so smooth right now. This is very satisfying. And I think we also unlocked a few more of these. Oh, that's a little too cheap. Buses. Let's get buses. Um, $30,000, huh? That's a little pricey, isn't it? Just a smidge. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how our traffic's looking, though. I think that's really all I'm ever concerned about in this game. Garbage? You're all pretty well taken care of. Oh no, how's my dump? The capacity, 78% full. I think we better make another garbage dump. But where? Let's put one over here. But not near our wealthy people. That's a bad idea, isn't it? But maybe it's not a bad idea. Because even though these people will be upset, it'll give us a little bit easier access to this side of the world. And emptying garbage things takes so long, so that might be an issue. I, I usually struggle when we get to that point. <laughs> That's usually like when I quit, when it's like I have 10 garbage places and they're all messed up and everything, but it is what it is, man. Our death thing. Maybe we should get a cemetery over here. No. Yeah, one-way streets are making this challenging. I don't know why I went for that. I do like this area. You decide it's a good looking district. And let's go ahead and zone our other districts. Down here will be a big district. And it'll be another middle class. Myrtle Heights, that's a little too fancy. Let's go with, av no, Average Joe's. Let's go with, let's go with Wind, Windy Peak. Is it even windy here? I don't know. Okay, and more zoning. This area, this area will be the stay-at-home moms, the middle class, Hillside Heights, perfect name, perfect name. And we have to figure out what they want to do. So, what is this? Ore industry. You guys can be ore. And so can you. And you decide you're still farmers. And then this, this is nothing yet. This is nothing yet. Okay, so this is some good progress for today. I like what I'm seeing. We've added on Hillside Heights, Myrtle Heights. Got a couple new buildings around. And it looks like we're not quite ready for the bus system yet. But I think we're just going to go ahead and pause it here for today. It's a little shorter than yesterday, but I have a lot of work to catch up on after this weekend. I really have some homework I need to do and a couple projects I missed up on. So thank you guys for watching and thanks for checking me out. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike this video, still hit that like button because I want likes. And also subscribe to me. I... I mispronounced that word, but go ahead and click subscribe, click like, and thanks for watching.